Tom Bauer. I, I'm glad he's not my accountant, because, uh, I mean, <laughs> Tom, you know, he's a gifted biographer <laughs> and all the rest of it, but Harry and Meghan are worth an absolute bomb. Yeah. So I don't think, even if they lost everything, and whether they deserve to, whatever the case, they've got a lot of money. So yes. I don't think there's a problem in that respect, JJ. Yes. Yeah, sure. Tom Bauer is clearly a man who just hates Meghan Markle. That's it. Yeah. I won't go as far as to call him a misogynist because he's not mean to all women, just Meghan Markle. He knows clearly nothing about Hollywood. Stick to the royals, Tom, because you know nothing about how Hollywood works. Just because she's signed to a new agency, he thinks, well, she should be working straight away. It's not how it works. Yeah. The biggest players in Hollywood do not work continually flat out, non-stop. Actually, it's the people who are less successful who are trudging and, and trawling, trying to get every, everything they can. I'll just very quickly tell you a story. The most successful director of our time uh, Martin Scorsese. Teams up with the most successful actor of our time, Leonardo DiCaprio. For The Wolf of Wall Street, one of the most successful um, biographies in history, they couldn't find any financing. Have, have you got the world's greatest director and the world's greatest actor in Hollywood? Yeah. Nobody wants to fund their films. That's how Hollywood is. So yeah. if he thinks that they're unsuccessful because they've been paid money from Netflix and Spotify, and Netflix have already said it's still the most uh, successful documentary they've ever had on the platform, but they're not successful. He's an absolute I, idiot I, I mean, to get in we the talk, bin. We talked about Tom Bauer, I'm glad he's not my accountant, because, uh, I mean, <laughs> Tom, you know, he's a gifted biographer.